do you trust your painting mat? No, seriously, in the moment of a crisis, if something spills while you're painting, do you trust your painting mat to save everything that's on the table or the surface that you're painting on? Well, let me tell you, we have our custom Knights at the Game Table painting mat and everybody who uses it trusts it 100%. We have professional painters and our members that use this mat on a regular basis. And they're gonna tell you right now just how much this mat has helped them with their painting space and rescued them in some not so fun situations that could have otherwise been a crisis. Hey everyone, what is up? Aaron Lovejoy here from Miniature Monthly. And today I wanted to talk about the really cool paint mat from Knights of the Game Table. I've got this one. This is the one I use for Friday nights with Aaron and Adam. Um, it's a really cool, it's kind of like a PVC mat. It's fairly thick. It's got this cool little lip. So when you knock your paints over or your coffee, in my case, I knock my coffee over a lot, it will catch everything on the mat. Plus, it's a really nice mat for just working on. If you're, if you're cutting things out, you know, you, can, you, you don't cut your table, which is nice. Plus, it just looks really really cool nice jet black with the Knights of the Game Table logo very nice now this is the mat I use for um, our Friday night sessions with Adam but this is the mat that I use on a daily basis and as you can see it's very very well used so check out the Knights of the Game Table painting mats I've got one you should too Hey, this is Lynn Stahl from Metalhead Minis coming to you live and cozy from my home in my comfy hoodie. Wanted to let you know, you need a Knights at the Gable Game Table paint mat in your life. Look, it's covering my face. Uh, it's great, it's easy to travel with, and you can paint on your kitchen table or on your coffee table, whatever, and nobody can get mad at you because then you won't get everything all over the place. So no muss, no fuss, get yourself a paint mat today. Hey everybody, Clay here with Mastermind Models and Miniatures. Just giving a quick shout out to the Knights at the Game Table Hobby Mat. Man, I've had mine for over a year now and I bet you can tell. Let me switch my camera around here and show you. So here you can see I got my Knights Mat. I have had it for a little bit over a year now. It is nice and weathered. I love it for cutting. I love it for keeping my brushes from rolling off of the side of my table. Whenever you flip a wash over, you know, I got like a little spot right here where some wash got stuck. I use it for, you know, just about everything, holding my uh, needles for unstopping paint. But you know what? They were nice enough to send me another one. So now I get a bright new shiny Knights at the Game Table painting mat. These guys treat me good. So this one, man, look how much I've used it pretty good. Look at all those cuts. All right. Throw that one on the floor. Now we're ready to shoot some more videos and be styling. Hey everybody, this is Caleb with CK Studios. Hey, I'm stopping by right now. I normally don't do this too often, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share a little video on a product that, that uh, I just, I absolutely love. Um, you know, and that's my workspace work pad. So Night at the Games Table, they approached me a couple of years ago at Adepticon and uh, Adam had handed me this mat to try out and I was like, oh, you know, this is pretty cool. Nice little soft mat and everything. You know, I was using like cutting boards and, um, you know, the little hobby pads and stuff like that. Um, and they just, you know, they weren't quite working exactly what I wanted. Uh, they're kind of hard to clean up, um, different things like that. So Adam gave me this mat to try out. So I took it home and, you know, um, gave it a little shot and started using it. And man, I just absolutely fell in love with it. This thing is just fantastic. I love the way it feels, you know, it's nice and soft. It's got a nice um, edge to it, everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of, of a video of my work area. And uh, I'll talk just a little bit about some of the aspects of the mat. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start that video. All right. Hey guys, well, I'm back now. Um, this is my top down camera uh, that I work for my Twitch feed and stuff like that. And I want to show you guys my workspace. So here I have my, uh, my, mat, my work mat, you can see uh, the model and everything that I've been working on tonight. And uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit about this mat. So the first thing is you'll notice it's a nice, very large size mat. This is good. It covers up a lot of my work area. And I, I, it gives me a lot of room to be able to kind of work on my projects without being super crowded. 
Uh, you know, there are other mats out on the market that um, are kind of similar. I feel that they're a little cramped. Some of them have little areas, like little sections here and there that kind of mask off little areas. While I like that to hold parts, what I find is I end up spreading into that and I'm kind of hitting with my hand when I'm working and stuff like that. Um, so that kind of becomes annoying. So I really like the, how this is just a nice open pad. I really like this edge right here. Um, this helps so that, you know, my paint brushes, my work area, stuff doesn't fall off. If I happen to spill some paint, it's not going to run down my desk and get onto my lap and make a mess of my pants and stuff like that. But the nice thing about this edge is a lot of maps that have this, this kind of hard edge right here, what will happen is, is they kind of stick up a little bit and as I'm working, what I'll notice is it starts to put a little crease in my, my wrist. Yeah, maybe I'm kind of being a little sissy there, but after a little while that can become uncomfortable. The nice thing about this mat is, is because the rubber is nice and kind of malleable and, and soft, it doesn't tend to create that wrist fatigue that I get um, normally when I'm working. A lot of times I'm resting my arms on, on on my uh, my desk you know on my mat as I'm painting and stuff like that so I really like this edge like that um, the the nice at the game table the the image is nice and inset into it so it's not gonna peel up it's not really gonna catch edges it does have just a little bit of grooving into it but I kind of like that uh, I think it looks pretty cool really love the colors that they used here they're super vibrant this is a pretty old mat believe it or not um, I've airbrushed on this mat. I do a lot of painting. If you can kind of see, I don't know if my camera will show it, but you can see some kind of green staining in here where I got a little bit of paint on it. It's okay if you get some paint on your mat because the nice thing is, is it cleans up with just some isopropyl alcohol. So I'll take some isopropyl alcohol at the end of my paint session if, if I spill paint on here. And I'm just gonna take the isopropyl with a little squeeze bottle and just kind of squeeze it all over the mat. And then I just take a nice rag or a towel and I just kind of clean it up. And it's always gonna keep that nice sheen to it. Um, one thing that will, I have noticed that if you're doing a lot of like a uh, sanding and work like that, what's gonna happen is that dust is gonna stick to the surface of this. What I like to do at that point is I just take a, a regular dish towel or, or you know, uh, um, a hobby rag something like that and I just get it moist you don't have to have it soaking wet I just get it moist and I wipe the mat down all the dust gonna stick to the to the rag and it'll clean off another great aspect about this is you'll notice see how the back of this is really shiny it's really sticky um, it's not like glue sticky it's just got like a natural tack to it and what happens is that just bonds to my surface you can see it's really firm I mean you got to really kind of push on this thing to move it especially when it's nice and flat um, so your mat's not gonna move around while you're working on your project I really like that um, that's kind of what sold me at first was the stickiness of it again this will also collect a lot of that dust that you get what I'll do is um, if I if the bottom of it starts to kind of get a lot of collected I just take my whole mat off go take it in the sink and I just give it a quick wash down uh, a little soap and water it'll help clear everything off get all the dust and grime and anything that might kind of stick to this back section right here um, that's making it kind of slide around for you so that's the nice thing about this thing it's really durable it holds up um, very well, you can see, I, I use this one quite often. If you guys have been watching my Twitch feeds, you guys probably recognize me painting on this thing. You guys have seen me just uh, kind of making a mess on this thing and then the next Twitch feed all of a sudden it's nice and clean and pretty again. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share this product with you. I uh, hope you guys take get a chance to take a look at it. Um, be sure to hit up Nights at the Game Table and uh, get a copy of, for yourself. All right guys, until next time, we'll talk to you later. I just got this like new kind of paint. Because you know, I've kind of been working on the Necrons, right? It's that mirror paint that makes everything look like a chrome Terminator. Well, my dog, you know, she decided she wants attention. And I was like, no, 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 you know, kind of pushing her away. And then she, like, jumps up on the desk and uh, shook it. Just, and the, the whole thing just tips over. And it's an oil-based paint. So if it had not been for <laughs> that mat, <laughs> I can't tell you all what would have been destroyed. Because I had some important documents sitting right next to it. Whew. So yeah, saved uh, stuff that was worth a little bit of money from, from total destruction. You know, this doesn't slide around. I first tried to just paint on some, uh, like a garbage bag that I laid out and that's that, that, but this is rubber. So the models like stay on it. It's easier to like, you know, basically get a grip and, and hold things steady, which obviously with painting, it's a big part of holding something steady. Your arms need to be on it. And, um, and, it, and it's just actually beautiful. You know, as you can see, it's been used. It's, uh, it's definitely been, you know, like painted on. Um, I love this mat. I mean, it's, I, I travel with it because um, every now and then uh, I will have downtime wherever I am. 
and uh, I'll just pull it out. And I, whether I'm building or I'm painting, I, I use it. I made these water bases for some Valkyries that I have, and I spilled the epoxy resin on the on the mat, and it not a small spill. And so, like, it all got on the mat. But if I had not had the mat, I would have ruined my coffee table. So as you can see, this painting mat has done wonders for so many people. And if you want to learn more about how you can get one, all you have to do is click the link down below and check out our website where we will tell you everything about the painting mat and how you can get one for you.